Those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, today, October 26th, we had a, an online class on Microsoft Teams. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I was not able to get a recording. Uh, this happens occasionally, and I noticed this morning that there were a lot of meetings uh, that appeared that some of you were going into, and so I'm not really sure what's happening. It might just be something that the way in which we're uh, opening up and creating these meetings in Microsoft Teams doesn't allow a recording to happen, but at any rate, we're going to try again to have class in Microsoft, I'm sorry, in Google Meet tomorrow. So I have included a link in Microsoft Teams. Uh, so tomorrow in the morning, we'll try again to get into Google Meet. I know we had some problems there as well, but we're going to give it a, uh, give it a try and um, want to basically offer a general overview of what we did today so that um, if you need to go back and see what we did today in class, this hopefully will will help. So we started off by doing a TOEFL listening review. So first hour or so we were online doing our TOEFL practice, listening to an audio and answering questions. We looked at a couple of uh, some keywords and some of those keywords I included in the chat. So you can refer to the chat uh, underneath the, the, the course or the class. And uh, you can, I'm here, I'm scrolling up and down. You should be able to see the keywords. Search high and low was one of them. Uh, where am I going with this? We talked about that. What I wouldn't give for a few samples from the moon. So what I wouldn't give as another idiomatic expression that we discussed today in class. We looked at they get what they're supposed to be doing. They get what they're supposed to be doing. Also, we looked at that. Should already, uh, should be far along. Should already be far along. That should read. Um, we looked at that. To get a handle or to have a handle on something. We talked about that as well. So take a look at uh, these keywords. These were idiomatic expressions that were used in the TOEFL audio uh, recordings that we listened to this morning. We spent the rest of class looking at uh, tongue twisters and practicing tongue twisters. We're now in, uh, we're looking at rounds four, five, and six. Remember that when you repeat tongue twisters, to repeat it three times, Make sure that your tongue twister goes underneath the, uh, the initial post provided by your classmate so that, again, all of the tongue twisters, all of the same tongue twisters appear in the same thread within Flipgrid. Um, what else? Make sure that uh, you're repeating it three times. I think we looked at two keywords, uh, the pronunciation of SOFA making sure we're stressing the first syllable and also the pronunciation of Chuck. So that's basically it. Um, again, it's unfortunate we were not able to get the class recording. We'll try again tomorrow, but sometimes this happens. When this does happen, I do like to provide a very short review over or covering what we did in class. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Remember that today your Projects are due from last week. Your uh, performances, your performance tasks from last week are due. So try to get those finished. Make sure that the final video of your presentation for your travel plans is called group and then the number of your group underscore WK9 for week nine. 